We got a call from an owner of a commercial building and he had multiple leaks. And he asked us to come and look at it. We're going to look for leaks on the roof and give him an estimate. On, on an inspection, I immediately saw that the flashing thing was the problem. I showed my wife, I said, look, the flashing is pulled away from the wall, the caulking failed, and it was very clear that was the leak. That's what we thought. We started by repairing the leak, by grinding off all the paint, and then we did the turbo poly seal treatments. A coat of turbo poly seal over the metal and over the brick, and then we applied the polyester fleece over the uh, turbo poly and seal, and then we painted another coat over that fabric, like that. It came out very, very, very nice. Well, we went home and uh, we waited a few weeks and we got a call. Okay, they still had a leak. And we thought, what could that be? So my wife and I went back and we thought, oh, it's the wall. All the cracks and the grouting in the wall came out. We probably, it's leaking from a wall. So we started off by grinding all the paint off and seal all the, uh, grouting lines on the wall. Okay. And you work the turbo poly seal into the groove, into the crack, just like that, and it will seal. Let me show you where I've done it like that. I did it like that. Look here. Nice and seal. Come a little bit lower, sir. Yeah, like that. See? And it came out very nice. Also did it with turbo poly seal. We and add the, voila, uh, a coating of turbo poly seal and add a fleece and you add the coating. And some places I didn't, I just did the coating. It came out very, very, very nice. And we thought, okay, we got it. Well, a few days later it rained again and the owner called again and says, there's still a few more leaks. We went back and we thought, oh, it's the window. So we, went, we set out to fix the window. We removed the caulking. We removed the rotten wood, we uh, cleaned up everything, and then we installed a new piece of uh, two by four. We sealed the entire frame to the wall. So I'm gonna do this corner quickly. Make sure, something like that. This is how you do it. We did the turbo poly seal treatment where we made the transition from the wood to the wall. So nothing could leak there rotten it was bad it was paint peeling it was caulking peeling and look it's nice and sealed and tight and this is it the window came out very 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 nice clean, 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 clean. and then we painted the wall and the window just to make it look good we thought okay we had it a few days later it rained again and we got this dreaded call I it's there's still a leak this was another leak just before we patched it, we found that this membrane or roof was loose and there was holes that could go down here on the side of the building. Could go down there and it went on the side of the building. And we fixed this. And the owner called again and says, the leak is still there. There's still a few more leaks. So while we were doing this roof, the, the fixes, a huge storm came and blew off this cap, this six of these uh, wall caps, and it blew it off, and it blew it right onto that roof. The metal from the roof up there flew off and made a big hole here. There at the bottom, there are panels, metal panels, lying there, and they flew off, gouged the roof here. See, there's a gouge here. No, I painted on there. You can do, anybody can do. You just put your fleece over that hole and look at it. Repair is done. There is nothing else to do. So after the storm and fixing that patch on the roof, on the flat roof, we finally thought we had it. But that was not true. We've had one more call. The owner called us and he said, there's still another leak. And that's what haunted us all the time. We couldn't understand why it's leaking. So we worked on this roof and that's where the patch was. And there's a window here. 
But this is a building that belongs to somebody else. And little would we know that this building was causing the leak onto this roof. And watch this video, how we found it and how we repaired it. And this is the culprit. And this was the last leak we couldn't find. We went back and tried, looked at everything, looked at the flashing, at the window, at the walls. And then I noticed a stain on the wall, on one of the, si uh, on one of the walls. I said, oh, look at that stain. I got closer and I saw icicles on the bottom of the window. And I said, there's icicles and there's a stain. That must be something from above. I grabbed the ladder and when I got to the top, I saw this type of Yankee gutter and it looked fine. It was from an adjacent building and I couldn't really see what the problem was until I saw the... Hey, sweetheart, I found the leak. Come on, see what it is. What did you find here? Let me see it. So you got, what do you say? You, you see, you, you, see, you find a leak? I don't see anything. You don't see anything? I saw two seams in one spot. My wife and I got up there and, and she was even surprised to see, to see that that could be the leak. Most people don't know what to look for. Like my wife. <laughs> like my yeah. wife. Tell it. <laughs> like my wife. Yeah, it's true. Like That's, it's absolutely right. When I look at it, I say, what is the problem? I don't see problem. <laughs> now that I'm on top of the room, I say, oh, mamma mia. That's the problem. It is true. This is for people that don't know like me. I got the grinder out and I grinded the... The, the, the paint and the caulking off and as I was grinding I noticed that something odd was about the scene. I realized it was rubber. Some people put rubber, some EPDM. I peeled up the rubber and to our shocking surprise the whole metal was rusted through underneath this membrane. When we cleaned it up and then we finally sealed it with turbo poly seal again. We do it with, uh, you, you paint the coat of that and you put your fleece over the, the coating and then you add another uh, coating over the fleece and we got it nice. And then we also painted that patch. I sealed this uh, patch yesterday and look, so it rained last night. I just want to clean off the, any color you want, yeah. And finally, the leak stopped. All right, watch this next video on how to fix an EPDM roof, like this. This is EPDM, and very important video, how you can fix that with super silicon seal. There's nothing else better than that. I'll see you in that video.